Hello, good morning, guys. Good morning. Great to welcome to our literature class. And you can see the title of our book, Grandma Tales. Grandma Tales. And that's what we're going to be reading this third term. Okay? So I'll try as much as possible to read. And I'm going to send the copies to you so that you can read on your own also don't you like the picture that's grandma and the children all right let's start we're starting with the clever merchants okay the clever merchants good in a town in northern indian there lived a rich merchant he traveled to distant lands brought goods from there and sold them in his town he often brought gifts for his family and his servants too. Once, while returning from his travels, he bought a beautiful gold chain for his wife. Everybody in the house admired the chain. His wife liked it very much. One day, when the merchant came home from work in the evening, he found a big commotion in the house. He found a big commotion in, I needed to observe that, the clever merchant. A big commotion in the house. His wife was crying and all the others were searching for something. On seeing him, his wife cheerfully said, That beautiful chain which you bought for me is missing. It was there in the morning. The merchant asked her, did you go out anywhere? Did anyone come home today? His wife replied. His wife replied. Nobody has come home either. No, I didn't go out today. Nobody has come home either. The merchant consoled her and went into the garden. If nobody came home today and she did not go out either, it means that a thief is inside the house. He thought to himself, apart from him, his wife, and his two children. Two children, there were three servants in the house. Obviously, one of the servants was a thief. Every time I bring gifts for my family, I bring something for the servants too. It is a pity that one of them robbed the chain. But which one? How can I hack them? He thought to himself. After some time, he eat upon a plan. He called the three servants to his room. He told them, See, it is not difficult for me to find out who has robbed the chain. This is because I have three magic sticks, which I brought from another land. I will give each one of you a stick. Tomorrow morning, I will take these sticks back. The thief stick will be longer by an inch. The servants went back to their rooms. Next day, they went with their sticks to the merchant's room. When he measured their sticks, he found that he found that one stick was shorter by an inch. The thief thought his stick would grow by an inch. So he cut it an inch short. The thief was caught and he gave back the chain to the merchant's wife. Thus, the clever merchant caught the thief. Now let's look at this difficult words. Let's look at this difficult words. Isn't, sorry, isn't the story beautiful and interesting? Yes, I love the picture at the nature stage and the story is really interesting. Look at the difficult words. What's that we came across? We have merchants. Merchant is a trader. Someone who buys and sell. Someone who buys and sell. Now, when we say distance, that's number two. Distance. Distance means far off very fast something you're looking at something far away distant now look at the often often is when something it means many times many times oh i often watch tv that is i frequently i i watch tv a lot of times you understand that one by often you do it regularly often okay next one is right. next word is admire 
Admire means praise. Admire means praise. Okay? Admire means praise. Then another word that is commotion. Commotion is the disturbance. Commotion when there is a when everybody is running out of scatter, you know, like something bad happening, and then everybody's running up and down. So there's commotion. Oh, for instance, let's say there is a um, fire now, and everybody start running up and down. Fire, fire. Now regarding the story, on say commotion, you know, when the merchants got home, he met his wife crying and people looking for something up and down. You know, can you imagine people searching, everybody going up and down? It is here. I left it on the chair. I left it on the bed. Now that is commotion because everybody's walking up and down, running, bothered, thinking, and the like. Then another one, what there is, console. Console. C O N S O L E. C O N S O L E. Console means to comfort. Um, console, still on console. C O N S O L E. Console. It means comfort. In time of sorrow, that is, you pet the person, oh, sorry. Like the woman when she was crying, looking for her jewelry. Her husband consoled her. You know, just like when some, your, your junior one is crying or your friend of yours is crying, you say, sorry, stop crying, stop crying, don't cry again, stop crying. That's what me. Thank you. Bye.